Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve complex equation. For this case, we can treat this equation as a quadratic equation. Recall that if we have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, which means that the root x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. For this case, a is equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c also equal equal to 1 and we should treat x as x squared which means that this is equal to minus 1 plus minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4 a c which is equal to 4 divided by 2 a is equal to 2 so we have equal to minus 1 over 2 plus minus 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so we have square root of negative 3 divided by 2. Recall that if we have negative 1, this is equal to i squared, which means that for this case, z squared can be written as negative 1 over 2 plus minus square root of 3 divided by 2i. Next, we can first solve for the first z squared. I'm going to let z squared be equal to w where w is equal to negative 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 2i, which means that we should first convert this rectangular form to polar form, which is in the form of r c theta, where r is simply the modulus. So we have square root of x squared plus y squared. x is negative 1 over 2 since we have square, so which means that minus or plus not really important. So we can simply take positive value. And we have square square root of 3 divided by 2 for the y term and this is equal to 1. For theta is the argument so we have all tangent y divided by x which is negative square root of 3 divided by 2 over negative 1 over 2 and this is equal to all tangent square root of 3 and we know that this is equal to 60 degree but then if let's say we refer back to the values that we have here we can see that x is with negative value and y also with negative value recall in the Cartesian plane, this will only be fulfilled if we in the third quadrant, which means that the 60 degree must be here. And we have 180 degree here. In other words, we should extend 60 degree to reach this line. So we have theta is equal to 180 degree plus 60 degree, which is equal to 240 degree. And we conclude that our cis theta is equal to cis 240 degree. Degree. Since we let x squared be equal to w and w is equal to cis 240 degree, which means that z is equal to cis 240 degree to the power 1 over 2. And by using the Timorphous theorem, we know that the first root is equal to cis 240 degree divided by 2, which is 120 degree. And for the cis, which means that we have cos for the real part with the angle 120 degree plus i the imaginary part we take sine for s 120 degree and this is equal to 1 over 2 with negative plus square root of 3 divided by 2 i before we move on to the second root Let's consider if we complete one rotation for a circle, we should obtain 360 degree. But then we have two roots here, so which means that this value must be shared evenly by two roots, and we should obtain 180 degree each. In other words, when we move from one root to the other root, the angle should increase by 180 degree. So the second root, the angle should be 120 degree plus 180 degree, which is equal to 300 degree. And this is equal to 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 2i. We have obtained two roots from the first z square as supposed to repeat all these steps again to obtain the remaining roots from the second z square. But then if we refer to the question, we have only even powers, which means that the roots must be a style of conjugate. So what we have to do here is just 
obtain the conjugate from the existing rate. So for the third rate, we have minus 1 over 2 plus change to minus square root 3 over 2 i. And for the last rate, we have 1 over 2 minus change to plus square root 3 divided by 2 i. And hence, we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.